Hello all, welcome back. Today we are going to perform a small video on uh, static routing. Okay, this is the topology, and in the in this topology, I have a 192.168.1.0 network and 192.168.2.0 in another. Uh, this is another network, and in between uh, R1 and R2 is connected. Uh, the tensor is a network that is 10 series IP okay let's uh, start the lab okay guys uh, R1 and R2 routers both up and running so let's configure the router one Good enable mode config host change the host name to R1 and and console zero logging synchronous exit so first we will con configure the LAN interface interface f0 by 0 okay, address 192.168.1.100 and 24 subnet mask now shut Okay, now we configure the F0 by 1 interface IP address 10.0.0.1 .0 with a subnet mask of 24 now shut so we have configured the LAN interface and uh, outer, uh, the interface towards facing R2 so now we configure the R2 router. Okay, enable config T. Change the host name to R2. Line console 0. Login synchronous. Exit. Interface 0 by 0. IP address 192.168.2.100 with subnet mask of 24 now shut okay we will configure now we will configure the f0 by 1 interface interface f0 by 1 ip address is 10.0.0.2 with a subnet mask of 24 now shut okay so we have configured the r1 and r2 routers so now we go, now we will configure the vpc5 and vpc6 IP 192.168.1.1 just subnet mask of 24 and default gateway is 192.168.1.100 ok show IP ok it's showing the save, save config save that's it Okay. Similarly, we will configure VPC6 IP 192.168.1.2. So, subnet mask of 24 and default gateway is 192.168.1.100. Save the config VPC7 IP 192.168.2.1 with a subnet mask of 24 default gateway is 192.168.2.100 show ip save it similarly we will configure the vpc8 ip 192.168.2.2 the subnet mask of 24 and default gateway is 192.168.2.100 and save the config show ip so we have configured the ip address and the default gateway for all vpc 
okay let's check the i whatever the ip we have configured it's reflecting in the same interface or not show ip interface brief okay so we have configured f0 by 0 as a 192 168 1.100 and f0 by 1 as 10.0.0.1 so save the config and similarly we will check for r2 r2 router show ip interface brief okay f0 by 0 as a 2.100 and f0 by 1 as 10.2 okay so uh, so we have co basic configuration we have made it so let's configure the static route so the static route had a syntax so we will first we'll check with the syntax so basically it's a ip route and it's a destination network id and we have to define our destination subnet mask and in the next hop okay in this in this example so my uh, the route syntax will be like a route ip route and here is destination network id is 192.168.2.0 and destination subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 and next hop is the route the hop uh, f0 by 0 interface of route r2 so 10.0.0.2 so first we will what we will do is we will try to ping from vpc5 whether we are able to reach it or not ping 192.168.2.1 yeah we are able to see the destination is host unreachable so now we will add this route in uh, r1 okay so we will make this as for R1 route okay go to configuration mode IP route destination network is 192.168.2.0 and subnet mask destination subnet mask is 24.255.255.255.0 and the next hop is 10.0.0.2 okay let's see whether it's reach yes request time dot okay similarly we will add a route in our r2 as well so what we will do is r2 route ip route 192.168.2 and destination subnet mask is this and next hop is 10.0.0.1 so we will add this route in r2 go to config mode i okay anyhow i copied here i will place it so we have added the static route in r1 and r2 let's see in vpc5 whether yes it's able to reach we are getting a So we similarly we will check from VPC 8 whether we are able to reach a 192.168.1.0 network ping 192.168.1.1 yes I am able to get response and similarly we will try from VPC 6 ping 192.168.2.2 network 2.2 host yes I am able to reach the 192.168.2.2 okay let's check the routes in uh, r1 go to enable mode config t or else you can go with the uh, show ip route okay here we are able to see the 
static road so the static road similarly we will check for r2 as well enable show ip route okay there is a route in r2 to reach the one network 10 dot uh, 192.168.1 dot zero network I think we have done with a uh, static routing I think it, uh, this lab is informative for you thank you for watching